Welcome back to another behind the scenes of Marble Mayhem and how I make my videos. If you've never been in my channel, come make sure you watch the regular videos, but then definitely come back for the behind the scenes. I'm going to kind of give you some insight of how I make my videos for any aspiring filmmakers. Uh, if you've seen my other behind the scenes, it's a lot of similar stuff. I make sure that I get multiple angles of the same shot I'm wanting to do because I'm, you know, I don't always have a storyboard. So sometimes I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I just make sure I get multiple shots as many times as possible to have as, it's better to have more footage than, than uh, less footage. Here's a perfect example, getting kind of a front view of the vehicle moving and I'll put some sound effects over it. Then I'll get the back part of it. Um, and I also film these things in 4k. So, uh, I can, when I edit, I can actually edit it down to 1080p and I can cut my hands out and, um, and whatnot. So for example, here's, it's going to, I think, Right here is going to show a couple angles of this uh, Godzilla that I have coming in right now for the scene. He's coming in stomping. I'll crop the fingers out there because I've been able to stretch, zoom into the video because I filmed in 4K. And, excuse me, I'm getting multiple shots of it because I never know which one I'm going to use. And sometimes I do a little bit more planning out and I will have a storyboard. Um, but like for my Marvel videos, I really just kind of go with it. And I always, I always try to get close-up views of the, if any characters are interacting or talking or making noises. I try to get a, a full back shot, and then I'll get a couple of close-up shots of each one of them. Um, and that just makes it a lot easier to edit, and it makes it more interesting for the videos um, as they progress. It's not just a falling far back shot of everybody moving and talking, but I can actually cut in a little bit, keep the pace of the, the, the videos going. And uh, again, there's my character, another character uh, that I use uh, frequently, the hand, and then I usually show off whatever marble track that I am uh, filming for. This is one that I had custom made. Um, uh, here again, I'm going to be a perfect example of how I get a far back view. So he's talking far back view, more than likely, um, yeah, he's probably going to talk with him. And then you'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you a couple of close-up shots. So the close-up shots are the same conversation they're all having, it's just that as he's making his noise, um, because I make a noise from talking, then it will kind of cut in closer to make it more interesting. Um, and you can, you know, with 4K, you can kind of do that anyways if you get a really good shot. But with 4K, a lot of times I um, try to get as close to the shot as I want, but just with a little bit extra, so it doesn't always work that way. And here at the, the um, looks like right here, I'm getting a shot of the police officer coming up, wanting my characters in the background for interest. I just to make it interesting, then I will get the close-ups of both of the guys conversing. I don't remember exactly what they're conversing about. They're complaining about how the marbles are happening or something. I don't know. It's silly stuff. And there, if I would put a smoke effect or something that would make it look like a, a little transition um, for a special effect there. Very easy. So if you like this type of videos or you like my actual edited videos or the behind the scenes, either way, like and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions, let me know. And thanks for coming to Marble Mayhem. Woo!